So good afternoon, everyone. So I will be now discussing the topic law and partnership, specifically the general provisions. Okay, so here, Article 1767 defines by the contract of partnership, two or more persons divine themselves to contribute money, property, or common industry to a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves. So in the definition pa lang malalaman na natin who comprises the partnership, what are their contributions, and what are their intentions. Okay, so two or more person who can bind themselves is a composition of the partnership. And what are their contributions, MPI, money, property, or industry, to a common fund. Okay, and what is their intention with the intention of defining the profits among themselves. Okay. So two or more persons may also follow a partnership for the exercise of a profession. Now, if you are a professional, uh, if you have professional <coughs> expertise, you can have a partnership with another person, okay, professional, as long as same yung linya ng industry niyo. okay? Yeah. Next, what are the characteristics of partnership? Right. It is consensual because it is perfected by mere consent. So it could be formed orally. I think it is consensual, but there are some contracts in the partnership. For example, <clears throat> lalong lalo na kapag need, uh, kapag nag-contribute ka ng property to a common fund, so it needs to be in written form. It is also nominate because it has a special name designated on the law. Bilateral because it is entered by two or more persons, di ba? And the obligations and rights arising from are reciprocal. Only rules because each of the parties aspires to procure himself a benefit through giving of something. So we have to contribute kaya siya naging onerous, okay? Kaya tayo nag-form ng partnership because we contribute MPI, money, property, or industry to a common fund. Okay, and that makes on a uh, partnership onerous. We have also commutative. It's because the undertaking of each of the partner is considered equivalent of that of the other. So this equivalent. Next, it is principal because it does not depend on the existence of the validity of some other contract. And the last one, it is preparatory because it is entered into as means to an end. Example, they engage in business for the realization of profits with a view of defining themselves among the contracting parties. So it is also preparatory because the moment that you form a partnership, the partnership will be a preparation for you to enter into another contract. So yeah, as a partnership contract, in its essence, it's a contract of agency. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so to review partnership concept, it's, I know, partnership is a contract and the partnership is a business organization. So it is a juridical entity which has a personality separate and distinct from each of the partners. Okay, it begins from the moment the execution of the contract unless it is otherwise stipulated. Okay. So next is The requisites of partnership. So what are the essential requisites of a partnership? First is there must be a valid contract. In order for a partnership to exist, there must be a voluntary agreement among the parties to carry on the business as partners. Ilan valid. Its formation cannot be imposed upon a person because a partnership is a fiduciary relationship. Always remember that. It operates under the doctrine of delectus personae, Again, in its plural form, or where a person is free to choose those whom he wants to be associated with in the partnership. That makes sense on the requisite number one, there must be a valid contract. Next requisite is the parties okay, must have a legal capacity <clears throat> to enter into that contract. So dapat may legal capacity sila. There must, they must be uh, of legal age to enter. So, yung mga minors are prohibited to enter into contract. Okay. Ayan. If you have legal capacity, you are now free to give your consent to it. 
Okay. Next, there must be a contribution of money, property, or industry to a common fund. Okay. So the property that may be contributed may be real or personal, tangible or intangible, such as goodwill, or incorporeal rights, such as credit rights. Industry may be physical, manual or efforts industry, or intellectual industry. However, a limited partner may contribute cash or other property, but not services. So we have two types kasi of general partnership. We have general partnership and limited partnership. So, sa general partnership, you can contribute three, money, uh, property, or industry. But in limited partnership, you can never uh, contribute services or industry. Okay. The object or purpose must be lawful. Yeah. So, it must have a lawful object or purpose. In partnership being a contract, it must have a lawful object. If a partnership has an unlawful object, it is void. Itandaan natin yan. If such illegality constitutes a crime, the partners will be criminally prosecuted and the profits and effects and the instruments of the crime will be confiscated in favor of the government. Okay. Next, the primary purpose must be to obtain profits to divide the same among the parties. Okay. So, the very purpose of a partnership business is to obtain profits. Right, which is evident in the definition of the contract itself. It is an element that distinguishes from religious, civic, and social organizations. However, if a partnership is formed for the practice of a profession, okay, so its primary purpose is not to obtain profits but to render service to the public. For example, um, para kayo CPA, sayon. Okay, partnership kayo. Ayan. So that your main purpose is not profit of really, but to give service to the public. <coughs> Next slide. Ayan. So again, so the essential requisites of a partnership, there must be a valid contract. There must be a mutual contribution of money, property, or industry to a common fund. And the object purpose must be lawful. The primary purpose must be to obtain profits to divide the same among the parties. And there must be at least one general partner. 